Hello and welcome back Supermums. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at the detrimental effect mommy stereotypes are having on you and stopping you from living the motherhood of your dreams. As always, please make sure you are liking, sharing and subscribing so we can reach more mums and make them a little bit happier. I imagine that you and I both have something in common. Neither of us particularly like having someone tell us what to do. Now some of us are more strongly against this than others. We tend to be the ones that teachers really didn't like at school. Lots of objections between any kind of figure of authority telling us what to do. One of the big reasons I work for myself. Yet, when it comes to motherhood, we let mum stereotypes really impact us. We take them on without even realising it. And that's because we're being fed this constant feed of mum stereotypes online. Now don't get me wrong, I love social media and I do not like to blame social media for this. Social media is just a tool, it's us who are using them and therefore it's our responsibility to stand up and go, no, I'm gonna use this better, I'm not gonna be sucked into this, I'm not gonna be told what to do by a mum-based meme. I am talking about the comments that are like, if you didn't do this X, Y, and Z, are you even a mum? Those are setting mum stereotypes. If you survive without coffee, are you even a mum? If you don't want a gin at 10 a.m., are you even a mum? I hate, 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 hate those ones. I love a nice coffee. I've had, I've had one big one today so far. Uh, when I finish filming this, I'm gonna go and have another one. I like coffee. I don't need coffee. I like coffee. I'm not addicted because if it's an addiction, then you should seek help. I find it incredibly frustrating that there are all these posts online and because there are so many of them, I am now meeting mums that are feeling less about themselves as parents because they don't adhere to some of these memes. So let me just put it out there that even some of the mums posting these memes, do they don't like adhere to these memes. Even the people putting it out there saying, yeah, I'm just winging it, aren't winging it. I, hate the phrase winging it. I've yet to meet a mum who is actually winging it. I think we're all putting a hell of a lot of effort in and by saying winging it, we're doing what women do and downplaying our efforts, which has to stop. This is a general plea from me. If you use winging it in your branding, marketing, anything like that, please stop because all you are doing is belittling all the amazing work you are doing. That for me, that that's feminism right there. Like be a feminist, stop saying you're winging it. Very frustrating probably gonna get in trouble for saying that, but I really don't care. I think it's really important to us feeling good as mums and women that we stop downplaying what we're doing, that we stop just adhering to these stereotypes because we think that we're abnormal if we don't. It doesn't need to be like that. That mum hair don't care. Mm. So yeah, I quite often have mum hair, but I do care. I don't like having my hair like that. I will put effort in to making sure that my hair is clean. I love having it down, but it's not always very practical. Um, I'm probably more like a, a clip it back and things. That's why I quite often have it down when I'm filming because it's not all in my face, it doesn't matter. But mum hair, I do care. So I, I try and make an effort to change it. It doesn't mean that you need to care. You might not care about what your hair looks like, but you might care about something else that someone else is saying, no, you're a mum, you shouldn't care about that. Maybe your thing is that you really like having your nails done nicely. And someone's going, ah, but you're a mum, you shouldn't worry about having a nice manicure. But that's important to you, so yes, it does matter. Whatever's important to you matters. Don't go thinking that just because it's being posted all over social media that mum is X, Y, and Z, that you need to be X, Y, and Z to be a mum, to be a valid mum, to be a good mum, to be an accepted mum there in a nutshell drives me nuts because you do see all this stuff and you feel like you're not gonna be accepted for it. I really felt that and yes, in certain groups, I was not accepted for how I wanted to be parented. I found that a lot in my NCT group. I kept my mouth shut in lots of situations like more than they could ever imagine because I was like, what I'm thinking 
is not going to be the accepted opinion because it doesn't adhere to a mum stereotype. It's not a standard reply to this situation. And I just kept my mouth shut because I didn't think that it would make me accepted. And actually, eventually, I just stepped away from the whole situation. And you may have read about my story with moving away from my NCT group before. I'm not going to go into all of that today. I then found some amazing mums they're in like different groups i've not necessarily got one big group it's really nice because they're all such awesome people i can bring them together i brought them together at my birthday and they were just different mums from different aspects of my life but because they're all awesome they all got on really nicely i'm much better in like the one-to-one -one. even like two-to-one i find a bit much unless it's couples like two couples together that i can deal with but I'm much more like a one-on-one -on -one connection kind of person. They say find your tribe. My tribe, I have a big, biggish tribe, like a good number in my tribe, but not many of them know each other. So your tribe doesn't need to be a group of people that hang around together either. I'm gonna go into that in a later video, but it can just be lots of different people that have got your back in different situations and that bring something different to your life. Your tribe don't need to know each other at all. That's also awesome. So next time you see that funny meme, question it. Go, actually, is this something I want in my life? A lot of those memes have some serious negative undertones and you need to remember that this is just something funny and not let it affect you deeper because I'm seeing it more and more. These are having a deeper effect and they're starting to control our minds. Like it's really, it's getting to that point and we need to not let that happen. I look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood. And remember, being a super mum is all about being the mum that you want to be. Thank you. Remember, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again.